I'm Ash from Droney On and today we'll be looking at neutral density filters. An ND filter is essentially a pair of sunglasses for your drone and on a very bright day like today they'll help you in getting better video and photo results. So let's take a look at when to use an ND filter and how. We'll now look at the DJI GO app. This happens to be an Android platform, but it's exactly the same on iOS. And we're going to look at how to determine which ND filter that you need to use. So the very first setting that we need to determine is the video resolution and frame rate. So click menu, click the camera icon and click the video size button. Initially, we're going to select 4K at 24 frames per second. We'll now close that menu and we're now going to open the exposure controls or the camera settings. Initially it's set to automatic so we're going to slide that to manual and the ISO setting generally should be 100 or 200. I generally set mine initially at 100. The shutter value is very important. This value ties in directly to the frame rate that you've chosen for your video. So we've chosen 24 frames per second Therefore, our shutter speed should be twice that. The closest value is 50, so we're going to set it to 50 frames per second. With all of those set, you'll notice at the bottom there is a reading that says plus 2.0. That means the camera is telling us that we are two stops overexposed. Now on automatic mode, overexposure can be compensated digitally and the camera does that automatically. However, by doing it digitally, we lose the quality and the detail that we would get when adjusting it optically. Therefore, we're going to attach an ND filter. That optically reduces the exposure and therefore gives us a much better output. ND filters are named accordingly, so an ND4 filter is known as a two-stop. An ND8 filter is known as a three-stop. As we are plus two overexposed, that indicates to me that I need to attach an ND4 filter, and that's what I'll do now. I've now fitted the ND4 filter to the Phantom, and it's really important to add that you must always turn off the drone before you change the lens. The reason is you can accidentally strain the motors on the gimbal if you change the lens when it's powered up. With the new filter fitted, you'll notice that the EV reading at the top of the screen now shows plus 0.3 instead of plus 2. That's because the two-stop filter, or the ND4 filter, has reduced the exposure optically. This value will change slightly when you're flying. You'll notice, in fact, it's now dropped to zero. That's the ideal setting, and we always want to be as close to zero as we possibly can. As I explained at the beginning of the video, the exposure reading ties directly into the frame rate, the shutter speed and the ISO. Therefore, if we now adjust the frame rate to 60 frames per second, we then have to adjust the shutter speed to 120, because remember, the shutter speed should always be twice the value of the frame rate. As you may have noticed, the exposure value now reads minus 1.3, and that's too dark. It essentially means that we're underexposed. Our filter that we currently have fitted, an ND4 filter, is a two-stop filter, so it's darkening the image by two. Therefore, if we remove it, we should expect to see a value of approximately plus 0.7. At a point like this, where you don't have an appropriate ND filter to give you a value closer to zero, it is acceptable to adjust other settings such as the ISO to gain a value that is closer to zero. But ideally, you should be doing any adjustments like this optically using filters. And that's it for part one. In part two, we'll be showing you how to fit the ND filter that you've chosen. We'll also show you some comparison video with and without the ND filter fitted. Many drone fanatics aren't familiar with the use of ND filters, so also share this video. Please subscribe to the channel by clicking subscribe and also follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Facebook, where we have a rapidly growing Facebook discussion group. Thanks for watching.